the hot? Does anyone ever do that? One, two, one, two. Good job, Sage. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. Is your favorite, it's pancakes. Sage is having a mix of blueberry coconut pancakes and some pumpkin spice ones I was testing out, some strawberries and some homemade applesauce, which this recipe is on the blog. I am having some herbal coffee. This is a new one, this is the Dandy Blend. I'll link it below, it's pretty good. So I'm just trying it out and Sage is having breakfast. So now that she can like pick food and stuff, I don't give her the full tray because she would just like full hands shove everything into her mouth. So it's better that I like kind of just scoop stuff for her, sprinkle it around, and then she can just kind of pick and choose what she wants. Good morning. Say hi. <laughs> it is just Sagey and I today. Actually, all weekend. Today's Friday, but all weekend it's just Sagey and I. Matt is at a training course all weekend. He'll probably talk more about it on his channel. If you're not subscribed, he has a YouTube channel, link down below, um, or you can follow him on Instagram. He's there and he has the car. So it's just Sage and I. So we're gonna have some fun and play and hopefully get a little bit of work done today. But you know what? I don't have too much on my agenda today cause like you can't plan a lot with a baby, you know? It will be what it is. <laughs> hey, some strawberries. It's a lot of fruit today, but the pancakes are, they got some veggies and egg and flour in them. The coconut flour is like high in fiber and I believe iron, funny enough. So, it's a well-balanced breakfast. Mmm, more? She's like, I already got more. More? More? She's too occupied, okay. More, yay! You're so good at that. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, she's been a little bit weird with applesauce lately. I think it's the texture of like things that are creamy now. She prefers to chew. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good for you though. Okay, we'll try after. It's a nice quiet time in the morning. Just watching her eat. <laughs> Sticky fingers. <laughs> All done. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All done. Oh, full of pancake and strawberries. Yeah, these strawberries. All right, Sage is gonna play. I got the mat out. I got the Legos and toys out. She loves crawling oh. under there. Teddy's there. Is that Teddy? Yeah. yeah. It's so fun to watch her play by herself. Hi. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna clean up this mess. <laughs> you have fun, don't worry, mommy will clean it up. <laughs> You're walking with the leg. gets into everything. Don't worry, these are all safe. This is part of the baby proofing we got done. And she actually can't stick her fingers in it. So I love, I won't show her, but these just kind of slide across if you actually have to. <laughs> She's like, I need to get in there. <laughs> but we actually had a company come and baby proof our house. Uh, and I know you guys want to see a couple things, so these are definitely handy. I'll see if I can find a link for them down below. Um, I like them because they still look the same, but they're safe and they come in handy because her little fingers want to get in everything. 
other things they did were put these like soft corners. So we have them on our bed, honestly, mostly for us because we bang our legs all the time on that. We have them on the coffee table as well. We have these door stoppers that don't have the little plastic ends that come off. It's kind of bad lighting in here, but this one's a little bent because this uh, door like bends it all the time but they're just one piece so it's great because it's safe for sage the little pieces kids can choke on them which is really dangerous the ones that have like the spring and then of course we have our baby gate which i love it's really easy you just slide and lift and i like that it they come in different colors this one's white and it matches our stairs something else is we have these blind cleats which you can just take the cord and just wrap around so they're not hanging really low and then they also mounted our large mirror and any heavy objects like these are mounted so is the dresser in her room so is this guy here this one is actually bracket so it can't move at all um, but it's just important because they want to climb on everything so nothing is gonna get knocked down Probably, as I'm talking about child safety, probably not the best corner for her to play in, but I gotta bring this downstairs. The other thing I wanna show you are these magnetic key locks. So you just hold it up. So this is, right now is locked. You hold it up and it magically unlocks. So these come in really handy and Sage so can't get in them. That one's actually open a bit. <laughs> That's just like hand towels, so it's fine. So we just have a bunch of these. Ooh, they're magnetic, so they just stick to anything that is metal, but we just have them around the house and we can easily use them for different cabinets and stuff. All right, then in the office, there's different ones here. These are really awesome. Right now she can't slide this open, but if there's a little thing here that you can pull, slide down. Magic. So it's just little things like that. And these do not, these like come off easily. They're just like an adhesive. So no screwing or anything. And oh, that one's not even long. Oops. <laughs> but it's just like really cool gadgets like this that I didn't even know existed. We also have a toilet lock. I'm not gonna go too close because I have to clean my bathroom. But this guy's good because you can actually lock it when it's not in use. And so uh, babies and toddlers can't open the, or lift up the lid and possibly fall into it. Especially if your little ones are interested in the toilet, these are a great thing to have. All right, and then something else I'll show you are these locks. We have one in the back and in the front. So when you close it, they can't actually open the door. This is great for like when kids get older and it's like they get are able to sneak out in the middle of the night. That scares the crap out of me. So, okay, it's also like, you have to learn how to do them too. Okay, see, it slides out and then it opens. We have one on the front door too. So it's just, it's also just good security. So extra locks. Cassie, you wanna go outside? Okay. okay. Go outside, bye. And she's never far. Hi. You wanna see what Cassie's doing? Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Okay, back to safety zone. <laughs> of course, she doesn't want to stay there long. Sage, come here. We have her strapped in. You gonna watch mommy while I finish these? <laughs> she just wants to follow me everywhere today. Why is he, why are you so angry? Our favorite. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be 
I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. Or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips. Head, let's put you in your little sleep sack. Are you gonna be a reader? Like your daddy? Yeah. All right, so she is kind of sleeping. I think she'll fall asleep. So <laughs> now's the time to get myself something to eat. I'm pretty hungry. It's 9.30. Actually, it's 9.52. So definitely the key is to like have something already made in the fridge or something that you can just snack on as like a pre-breakfast snack because I just find it sometimes hard to like make something for me and Sage. Really, like when she's eating in the high chair, usually I'll maybe make something for myself so I can just still watch her, of course, now that she can like feed herself. But I just didn't do that today. I had my herbal coffee and I was just relaxing and vlogging and I should have made something. So I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to make myself something to eat, finish cleaning up and then get myself ready. Yeah, mornings with Sage, I think are a bit like just we have like a routine and it's nice, but also like you can't really get anything done. I feel like Matt can get more stuff done than I can because like she'll sit in the saucer for a bit longer. But if I'm around, she's like, I want to be with mom and do what mom's doing. So it's a little bit harder for me, but it's just like I, I find that I just realized that when she's awake, I need to be present with her and stuff and not try to get a million things done and then get the things done that I need to do when she's napping, which isn't long. Like honestly, in a day, it's three hours in total that she'll nap. So it's not much time. If you want to rest, maybe have a nap, which doesn't happen for me these days, you know, get some food in yourself and, you know, wash up and stuff like it, it goes by really fast. So you know, you have to have a plan and that's why I also try to do some cleaning and stuff while she's still awake instead of just playing with her. Like, I'll be like, okay, like you're here. Like, okay, I'm going to put some dishes away and stuff. I'm going to like make, finish making the bed that way when she's down for her nap, it's not like I have to do everything. It's some of it's already done. So yeah. All right. I'm going to get some stuff done while she's kind of trying to put herself to bed. She's definitely tired. So We'll see how, how this goes. She's been refusing one of her naps like every other day. So that's been fun times. <laughs> So that's boiling and I also decided I'm going to add some pumpkin puree as well as some pumpkin spice and make it a little fall inspired. I also have some coconut milk. I'm just going to stir up and make it super creamy. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. This is how you get veggies in the morning. And I'm just mix it up. I might also add in some mashed banana on top. Ooh, steamy. Well, that looks so good and it smells really good too. So I have half of a very ripe banana. So this is gonna add some natural sweetness to the oats. I'm just gonna mash that right in. But it smells so good. I'm surprised how orange it got, wow. It's like natural food dye. Just add little bit more pumpkin spice on top. Looks so delicious. I'm also gonna add a little drizzle of maple syrup and some crushed walnuts. Yum! I'm so excited for this bowl of oatmeal. I have to say that was one of the most delicious bowl of oatmeals I've had in a very long time. I'm gonna have to share this recipe soon. All 
All right, Sage is still sleeping. I was gonna wake her up just because I want her to still be able to take her afternoon nap. I'm gonna just let her sleep a little bit longer so I can get a little bit of work done before she wakes up and then I'll probably take her and Cashew out for a little walk. It looks really nice outside and I also wanna get some fresh air. So I'm gonna do some work before she wakes up. All right, I'm actually done the work I wanted to get done. I don't know how I got that done in time, but I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna pee, <laughs> priorities. Wake up Sagey so we can go for a walk because she's been now sleeping for two hours, which is longer than I wanted to, but also, also like if she's tired, I'll let her sleep. It just means that she might have a shorter or like no afternoon nap, but we'll deal with that later. That's future Nicole's problem. I got two IG reels and a full video reviewed so it can get finished uh, with the editing process. Even just reviewing a video takes so much time. Like you have to write exactly the timestamps that you want cut, any graphics or any like dynamic stuff like cropping in or whatever. Like it's just editing YouTube videos is insane and i don't even like edit them myself anymore because that just takes so much time and there's no way especially as like being a mom there's no way i'd be able to get that done and like everything else that i do for the business done so kudos to people who edit themselves but also like i just i couldn't i just i couldn't i couldn't <laughs> okay i'm gonna yeah go pee wake up sagey and um get the girls ready to go for a walk to Tia Chloe. Maybe we'll have lunch at Gigi's, okay? Yeah. Okay, we got to yeah, dress you warm because I think it's a little cool outside. I got to get myself ready and then Cashew ready. Honestly, it's so much harder going out with the two of them by myself to the point where I'm like, is it worth it? But it'll be good for all of us, huh? I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> All right, all ready to go. I got Sage's backpack and we're gonna go for a little walk, head to my mom, say hi to my sister, and probably do lunch there. Also, this battery is dying and I have no idea. <coughs> Woo! And I have no idea where my charger is, so we're gonna switch to vlogging on the iPhone. But I got the new one and the camera is so good. Like she's come a long way with walking next to the stroller. Look at you girls walking so good together. Oh, pee break. Alright, let's go. Got you! I'm safe. <laughs> Where's Chloe? Oh. Go get Chloe! Oh, you got that cuddles! Oh, the spit that just went flying. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> nice. Nice. We're in Chloe. Oh! <laughs> Savage. Be nice. Be nice. We're in Chloe's room. <laughs> What's that? Yeah? Okay, we got the Lego. 
Got the cocoa melon. I'm gonna make some lunch for us. You good, Cashew? Got the barricade. <laughs> So weird vlogging on the new phone. So I'm just gonna make some scrambled egg for Sage. And then also my mom has some tuna. I might make a little tuna open face sandwich for me. I'm gonna see what she has. I see some fruit in there. I'm just gonna like rummage through my parents' fridge and see what I can find that's yummy. All right, Sage was eating her lunch and then she toppled that over. So how about we take out the tray? Okay, we put it right on here. There you go. I have some peach. That's kind of, there you go. All right, she's having her lunch. I did not bring a bib, but she's having that and then have some sweet potato for her. All right, I'm snacking on cantaloupe, some cashews. I had half of a banana. I'll probably give her some banana too. I have that tuna. I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of sour cream to it. And then that's sweet potato for sage. And then I am toasting up some bread for the tuna. So this is what I put together for my lunch. I have the tuna salad with the garden tomatoes, sprouts, some cantaloupe, and some roasted mashed sweet potato. Kind of random, but that's what was in the fridge. And sage is eating some banana now. Yum. Mm. Yum. Wow. You still got your socks on. CG. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get you dressed so we can go home for a nap. <laughs> Clean up the Lego. We are dressed. Yeah. I only put her in just a onesie this time because it's actually quite warm outside. So, no, leave the shoes on, please. They took a bit to put on. <laughs> leave the shoe on. <laughs> All right, I am back at home. I'm actually just on the couch doing some more work, trying to squeeze it in. Sage is sleeping, and I think. She will hopefully sleep for at least an hour. Honestly, a part of me wanted to take a nap. I was so tired. Uh, just like, even just going to just my parents who are down the street and like feeding her there because like I had to like set everything up because it's not just like there's toys and a high chair set up. So it just like makes it for more work. And then obviously I want to clean up everything. And then we walked over, but it was, it's so nice out. So I'm glad that I got like two walks in, but I'm, definitely sleepy and I'm just trying to get a little bit more work done. I just got up a video since it's Friday and I get one up every Friday and Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So I, yeah, anyways, I'm just about to promote that on my Instagram stories, but just checking in to let you guys know what's up. I think Matt should be home. I don't know if he's going to get stuck in traffic because it's Friday. So he's probably going to be home by six. So I still got a few more hours before I can be like, here you go. And he's probably gonna be tired too. Cause I find when you're at like a training thing all day, even though you're sitting down, you usually get pretty tired. So, um, I don't even know what I'll do for dinner. I think I have stuff thawed downstairs in the fridge. So I'll have to look at that, but I'm going to finish. I'm going to promote today's video and then maybe grab a snack and just chill for a bit until Sage wakes up. Cause I think I need to relax a little bit too. Because when baby sleeps, mama's supposed to sleep. And that doesn't happen often enough. She's sleeping while baby sleeps. <laughs> She's tired. A little piece of Lego. All right, I found my vlog camera battery charger. And since, I don't know, I relaxed and then I got bored. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try out this hair waver that I got from Revlon. We'll see how it works. I've not tried it yet. I want to try this on like a hair washing day. So I'm planning to wash my hair either tonight or tomorrow morning. We'll see how the day goes. And that way, if it's a fail, I don't have to ruin freshly washed hair. This was like super affordable. I think it was like $30. I bet Sage is gonna wake up as soon as I start doing it, but we'll give it a go and see how far we get. It has like these, I don't know, it looks like a clock, but, or like a timer. It says one, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. What does that mean? Is that temperature? 30 heat settings for all hair types. My hair is like, it needs a wash. Let's just say that. Is it hot? Does anyone ever do that? 
feel like this is not how, this is not the best tutorial on how to do this. Okay, I know you don't want to do it too high, so I'm going to do like, I think I've heard around the ear. There's legit a buzzing noise coming out of it. I'm like, is this going to be that video where the girl tries to curl her hair and it falls out? I hope not. So yeah, that did like nothing. I don't know if this is hot enough. I'll just keep like moving up the setting. Ooh, okay. The bottom, not bad. Wait, why did I use this sooner? Okay, so there's potential. We got some wave going on, so I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up. I'll pause this and I'll come back once it's heated. <laughs> Am I selling you on it? It's like a user error, just so you know, it's me. It's me, it's not the machine. And it's dirty hair. It's not helping either. Okay, okay. Do I do the bangs? I feel like I should, because they're getting longer. I feel like I went too high, but. <laughs> what am I, this is why I did on hair washing day. Okay, I did that way too high, way too high. Okay, let's do this side. There's potential, I just have to work at it. Oh, what am I doing to my hair? See, this is why I don't wanna attempt this on freshly washed hair because if it messes up, if I mess up, I should say, then I'm stuck with it until the next hair wash. Okay, the bottom, I feel like you have to get it in the barrel going down for it to not just flick out. Okay, I'm gonna go at it a little bit before Sage wakes up and then I'll, I mean, this is probably where I'm gonna leave at, but like, we'll, we'll see. It's kind of giving some volume though. Oh, bless you, bless you. Hi, do you like mommy's hair? What do you think? I did it just for you. What do you think? Okay, so here is the, the final, I don't know. Like I see potential, but I just think, uh, Honestly, I feel like it just needs a little dry shampoo. Oh, yellow. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. Just Sage just woke up. So, I mean, I definitely probably need to watch like a tutorial, like a professional one, but that's what where we're at, which isn't horrible for the first try, but it's also not that great. And I think it would look better with like freshly washed hair, not three day old, greasy, dry shampoo filled hair, you know? So I just gave Seiji a mango pop and she's just sitting in her like play activity saucer. Uh, so I just want to get the camera so I can show you. Uh, she is about to, I can tell like one of her top big teeth are like cutting through the gums. So I'm just giving her like a cold popsicle to help soothe it, but I swear it's gonna come out any day and then she's gonna have her little bottom teeth and her little top teeth, it's gonna be so cute. Wow, we're just making a big mess today. Can you show your popsicle? No, that's not the right way, that way. I love, uh, whoa, okay, here you go, here you go. Show them how you do it, show them how you do it. But we don't want it today, what? She loves these. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, okay, let mommy rinse it off. Okay, sorry about that, that was my fault apparently, I'm sorry. If mommy puts cocoa melon on, look, Cash is gonna eat it. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. Do you want, you want a mama? Do you want a mama? Mama, mama, mama. All right, can we try this a little peace offering? Okay, Cash, these aren't for you, honey. Sit. I'll give you a treat in a sec. Sorry, they broke in my my bag. I'm sorry. There you go. Okay, you want a treat too? You want one too? Okay. Okay, so I actually made these the other day. Such an easy dog treat. They are frozen apple with peanut butter on them and I just stuck them in a silicone bag here. You want a double one? She's had a lot of these already today. But that's what they look like. She won't just eat apple by itself. She loves the peanut butter and they're frozen so she can chomp on them and the apple helps freshen your breath and clean your teeth, huh? Okay, okay, take it. No, you gotta take it. Take it, take it, take it. No. <laughs> Look, you got two. Mmm. 
refreshing. All right, so Matt just called me and he's stuck in a bit of traffic. Are you eating it on the rug? Uh, he's stuck in a bit of traffic, so he's probably gonna be here in about an hour. I think I'm just gonna do like ribs in the Instant Pot. But I'm gonna end the vlog here just cause I feel like it's already a long video. Okay, don't put the whole thing in your mouth, please. Okay, just ignore me. Oh, I hate when she puts the whole thing in her mouth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm, thank you for sharing. Oh, I was not expecting soggy cookie in my mouth. Thank you. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, so good. It's so good, yeah. Okay, what do you want for dinner? Cashew, you're having lamb. Why is, that, why is everyone putting things in my mouth? Huh? Mm. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you guys enjoy these just casual day in the life vlogs, uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future ones. Yeah. I post, oh my God. <laughs> I post every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Yeah. Eastern time. Oh, a hug, a hug. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Gosh, you're such a suck. Yeah, did you guys both have a good day with mommy? Who needs daddy, huh? Who needs, who's cooler and more fun? Who's cooler and more fun, huh? Who, oh, you don't know? Okay, okay, come here. Come here, okay. Yeah, yeah. With Matt, she'll hang out in there for the longest time. Me? Ten minutes if I'm lucky. But it's okay. She's teething. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Kiss.